between what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. This thought was conveyed by a leader the world admired, Mahatma Gandhi. His omnipresence becomes all the more important today when all of us have gathered here to convene the 20th summit of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. On account of being the Secretary General of the 20th SAC Summit, foremost, I would like to thank Bhutan, the member state representative who has organized the conference. The South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation is a regional intergovernmental organization and a geopolitical union of nations of South Asia. It has come to transcend national boundaries to include the mighty countries Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, Maldives, India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. The agenda for the summit today will be happiness index in the South member countries. Happiness index is a parameter to measure development and it has come to become a more important parameter than the GDP of the countries itself. The happiness index is released annually in the World Happiness Report. The WHR 2018 ranks 156 countries according to the happiness level of their citizens and 177 countries on the basis of the happiness level of their immigrants. I hope that the conference remains a fruitful discussion for all of you throughout. With the powers vested in me as the Secretary General of the 20th SARC Summit, I declare the summit open. Environment and promotion of good governance. Overall, Bhutan has scored 5.082 in the happiness index. Among the SARC countries, Bhutan is behind Pakistan, but Bhutan is still ahead of Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, India and Afghanistan. In Bhutan, we manage spiritual and material happiness equally. In Bhutan, we, uh, globalization has affected us over the years, but we have done it in a manner that allows our citizens to balance their material possessions and spirituality and they just make them happier. When people are making money, everyone is happy. Bhutan's GDP has been growing steadily over the last several years. It has allowed India to invest heavily in the hydropower in our country. This is all about managing your resources well. On TV, we, feel, we, uh, we see people making dump trucks full of money and that makes us jealous and angry. On the internet, there are trolls, a constant influx of bad news and all sorts of other bad things. We get obsessed with social media and get upset uh, when we don't get retweets or likes. When we don't have to deal with such things, life is generally better. Bhutanese people don't use WhatsApp, mostly they don't use all these social media. Uh, the environment is an important thing to the citizens of Bhutan. So much so that half of our country is a national park. The forests, animals and environment are strictly protected and we have announced that 60% of our country would be safe from things like deforestation permanently. Caring, caring that much for the planet makes people feel happy. People in Bhutan are mostly Buddhists. Buddhism is one of the calmest and the happiest religions in Bhutan. They believe in karma. The Buddhist version of karma is that people who live good lives are closer to enlightenment and are reincarnated as better creatures who live good lives and they are uh, reborn as better creatures. The prompts, uh, this prompts them to live good lives, do good deeds to one another and be good people. We actually measure our own happiness. The government actually measures country's happiness using a metric called the cross-national happiness. Bhutan is situated in the Himalayan mountains and well over 60% of the country is untouched wilderness. 
living here is probably more preferable, peaceful, and visually enjoyable than stomping around the concrete jungle. The gulf between the rich and poor is very less. The people in Bhutan are very close to one another. According to national surveys, around two-thirds of the Bhutanese people get at least eight hours of sleep per night. The benefits of sleep on happiness, productivity, and overall health is extremely well documented. One of the side effects of being so environmentally conscious is that Bhutanese people live in less pollution than pretty much everyone else. Sir, I require you to have They do have some things around that cause pollution such as automobiles. However, they lack in miles upon miles of factories and waste producing businesses. This makes the air, water and ground much cleaner. There is a reason why pictures of untouched wilderness are so beautiful and desirable. It's because they are aren't polluted with potentially harmful chemical fumes. Bhutan is relatively new to the world at large because they chose to remain isolated long after everyone else had integrated themselves into the world. Sri Lanka, I would like to remind all delegates present to you that Sri Lanka's happiness index has moved up from 120 to 116 over the last four years and it has to stand up for the third position in the sub-categories of SEP from the year 2008 to 2010 to 2015 to 2018. Lastly, our rank has gone up from 4.8 to 0 to 4.4 to 7.1. We give a major credit to this improvement to the speed that has spread in our country after the civil war, which indeed was a dark chapter in our history. Our motto is to make sure that this speed, this speed spreads to all the citizens of our country so that their psychological happiness, well-being and satisfaction is improved. In our humble opinion, the development in the sense of security and social support has a heavy impact on the happiness of the individual. We believe that along with the growth in GDP and providing proper health care to citizens, we should focus on freedom in every aspect and promoting the values and generosity among people. We would like to throw light on the fact that Sri Lanka was one of the first economies to liberalize and also that our freedom of press is the greatest among all the nations. In the increment of the happiness of a nation is the beauty of its leaders and thus I would like and urge the member nations present today to put their political and must discuss views on border issues aside and discuss what the issue of hand is. Sri Lanka opinion is that it is in the best interest of the member nations to work together in a peaceful manner to improve the happiness and of the South South member nations. I hope that this summit will showcase our forum as a platform where South Asian nations can come together and talk about their conflicts instead of discussing the same repetitive discussions over the world. That is not true. There are a group of people who are not given the freedom to make life choices and there are the LGBTQ community. Nepal in 2007 has legalized homosexuality and has given extended rights to all the LGBTQ people. So freedom to choose who they want to be and what who they want to marry is none of the state of philosophy which gives our government uh, which guides our government, it is also an institution as a goal in our constitution. And the term cross national happiness was termed by the king of Bhutan, Jigme Singhye Wangchuk, and he also said, and I quote, cross national happiness is more important than cross national product. Because if we create conditions which make the people happy 